First of all, Prime Minister Kishida needs to move quickly to implement economic measures based on the results of this election, such as digitalization of the government and building an ecosystem for distribution and economic growth. In the immediate political calendar, the budget making process will be shortly in full swing. So the budget needs to incorporate the election pledges and Prime Minister Kishida's policy visions. And in view of the indication that COVID-19 infection may re-emerge in this winter, the test will be the extent to which countermeasures for this are made in advance. The Abe and Suga administration measures against COVID-19 have failed and caused people to distrust the government. Two prime ministers' communication with the people was limited to reading out loud from a manuscript prepared by his bureaucratic staffs, which did not convey the true intentions of the government to the people. In addition, there is a latent high level of dissatisfaction among the people who are worried about COVID-19 and the uncertain economic situation. The stagnation of social, social activity caused by COVID-19 had also made it clear that the Abe administration had brought about a stagnation of a society. The most important factor in this is the negative attitude of Prime Minister Abe towards women's participation in society due to his conservative political beliefs. This is symbolized by the fact that the LDP is the only party that does not accept the surname system for married couples. It is undeniable that these factors have reduced the number of votes of the LDP. Factions do not play an important role in erecting the leader in times of crisis. For example, in the 2012 opposition presidential election, Abe, who was not nominated by a faction, won the election. Again, the faction did not play a role when the Prime Minister Suga announced in August that he would not run for the leader. At the moment, COVID-19 outbreak was severe and many polls predicted a defeat for the LDP in the upcoming general election. But the election of leader of the LDP approached and the number of COVID-19 cases fell sharply, support for the faction nominated candidate increased. Once the crisis was over, the power of the faction was restored. It is true that factions are no longer consulted in the selection of the leader and ministers, but since there are many more subordinate posts in the cabinet and in the LDP party, the distribution of these posts is likely to be faction based. If the leader were to ignore the factions and appoint only at his will, it would be easy to create severe conflict inside the party. It is better to strike a balance between the factions in order to remove the seeds of discontent and create unity in the party. For this reason, the influence of the faction will remain. In other words, the factions play an important role in the function of allocating positions within the LDP to diet members, but they are no longer important as uh, they once were as an opportunity to develop basic policy knowledge and to learn about political practice. Factions are likely to become loose-knit diet crops in the future. For the time being, the Kishida cabinet faces three challenges and its ability to win the upper house election will depend on the extent to which it can respond effectively to these three challenges. Firstly, the effectiveness of the COVID-19 measures to be taken. Secondly, the cabinet must convince the public that it has taken the first steps towards fulfilling its commitments in the budget. The third question is how far we can go to ensure that the ordinary diet session which will run until just before the upper house elections, is able to carry out its deliberation in a stable manner. 
For the past 15 years, there has been a pattern of confusion during the ordinary diet session, which has led to a decline in the cabinet popularity. The question for the cabinet is how it can prevent this trend of decline in approval ratings. If Kishida wins the upper house election the next summer, there will be no national election for some years. So the Kishida administration will not end up being a short-term administration. How long it lasts will depend on whether it can put its own policies into practice, including its original agenda of new Japanese capitalism. The Abe cabinet's strong prime minister's office leadership, right-wing ideology, and diplomacy and economy-centered policy management has been a successful model for the LDP. Kishida is more liberal in its ideology than Abe and appears to envisage a cabinet political model in which ministers hold down their ministries and run the government through interministerial coordination rather than strong support from the prime minister's office. The question now is whether this will lead to a stable long-term government. Kishida had long experience as a foreign minister and his economic policy will be supported by the Ministry of Finance and Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry. On top of this, if he can make a difference in domestic policy, such as in the fight against COVID-19, he could become a strong prime minister. However, Abe's potential influence is strong, and Kishida's political vision may be at odds with his. It is up to Kishida to put his new vision into practice by managing his government in a way that avoids such internal conflict, especially conflict with Prime Minister, the former Prime Minister Abe. I think so. The former Prime Minister Abe is a potential rival against Kishida. He he has a chance. He, he has a chance to become a Prime Minister uh, again, and his power uh, is very very huge. Uh, that uh, <clears throat> that we can we 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 saw during the election of the leader in the LDP. He was an only leader um, who uh, managed the <coughs> post of prime minister, who managed to keep the cabinet stable for eight years. Um, it is the longest term uh, of the cabinet uh, in the Japanese political history. And moreover, uh, he uh, built up a model to, to manage the cabinet and the <coughs> governing party. Uh, uh, after the uh, change of the government uh, in 2012. So Japan, in Japan, in, in the Japanese political history, a uh, change of the government uh, had uh, seldom occurred. In 2012, uh, change of government occurred after the general election. Abe or is the only leader who succeeded in managing his cabinet for a long time after the <coughs> um, winning of the general election. 